In this video, we'll show you how to check and replace the engine coolant in your Toolcat utility work machine. Keep in mind to properly maintain your Toolcat, it is recommended to check and replace the engine coolant according to the maintenance schedule documented in your machine's operation and maintenance manual. To begin, park the machine on the level surface. If the machine has a cargo box, raise the box and install the cargo box support. See your machine's operation and maintenance manual for the correct procedure. Now stop the engine and allow it to cool. If you have a Toolcat 5610 or UW53 model, you will need to raise the rear cover after the engine has been stopped. Then identify where the engine coolant drain port is located on your machine. Keep in mind there are two basic methods to drain the cooling system on Toolcats. One style, as seen here, incorporates a drain valve or drain plug. That means you do not have to remove any hoses to drain the coolant. The second style, seen here, utilizes existing coolant hoses that will need to be removed to drain the engine coolant. Next, we'll demonstrate how to drain the coolant. If needed, remove the right side access cover or on the UW53 and 56, remove the rear right side fender to access the coolant drain location. Allow the engine to cool properly and if your tool cat has a drain valve or drain plug, remove the cap from the coolant recovery tank. On the other models with a drain fitting and attached hose, the cap will need to be removed later during the process. We will discuss that later in the video. Removing the cap will relieve system pressure and assist with draining the cooling system more efficiently. Here's how to drain the engine coolant on these models. The drain valve is located under the cargo box. Carefully position a container under the drain valve to capture the fluid. Then open the drain valve and drain the fluid into the container. If your machine has a drain valve on the engine, connect a spare hose to the drain before opening the valve. Then open the valve and drain the coolant until coolant does not flow from the valve any longer. Once the fluid has stopped draining, close the valve and remove the spare hose. Otherwise, for models utilizing a drain plug, position a drain pan and funnel under the plug. Then remove the plug and allow the fluid to drain into the container. Once the fluid has finished draining, install and tighten the plug and remove the funnel. Now to drain the engine coolant on these models, the cooling system is designed with a drain fitting and attached hose for routing the fluid through the cooling system. We are going to use the UW56 for demonstration purposes. To drain the engine coolant, install a locking hose pliers or similar tool on the coolant hose, pinching off the hose attached to the engine oil cooler. This will help control the fluid flow once the hose is disconnected. Then place a properly sized drain pan or bucket under the drain fitting location. Now loosen the hose clamp and reposition the clamp away from the oil cooler fitting. When you are removing the coolant hose from the engine oil cooler fitting, fluid may come out of the fitting. So have the extra hose ready to install quickly to eliminate any potential mess. Remove the coolant hose and set it aside. Then quickly install the extra hose onto the engine oil cooler fitting and drain the fluid into the container. Now let the coolant drain until the fluid stops flowing. At this point, loosen the cap on the coolant recovery tank to relieve pressure in the system and assist in completely draining the fluid faster. Once the fluid stops draining, remove the extra hose. Then install the coolant hose and hose clamp on the engine oil cooler fitting, ensuring the hose and clamp are secure. Finally, wipe up any excess fluid and clean the area. Then recycle or dispose of the used coolant in an environmentally safe manner. To fill the coolant recovery tank on all models, use a funnel and carefully fill the tank with the new engine coolant. 
There are two types of propylene glycol coolants available from Bobcat. A premix that is ready to use out of the container for a negative 37 degrees Celsius or negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit protection. Or a concentrate that needs to be properly mixed to achieve the negative 37 degrees Celsius or negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit protection. Also note the machine is factory filled with purple propylene glycol coolant. Do not mix propylene glycol with ethylene glycol, orange, red, or green coolant. Continue to fill the recovery tank until fluid reaches the appropriate level. Once the recovery tank is filled to the lower level marker on the tank, install the cap. The coolant cap must be tightened until the cap clicks. Then install the right side rear fender and or the right side access cover if applicable. Start the engine and operate until the coolant reaches the normal operating temperature. And then stop the engine. Now check the coolant level at the coolant recovery tank and add coolant as needed following the same process as we discussed to reach the correct specification. Once the correct level is reached, remove the cargo support and lower the box or lower the rear cover. 